What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and this is the first Ask Saf Q&A video and I'm going to be doing a series of these so I'm going to be trying to do these roughly every two to four weeks and I will try my best to keep these quite regular. Now what I did is uh, a few days ago I did a post on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Google Plus uh, asking for your questions and got loads of questions so thank you for all of those now i'm not going to be answering every single one of those because uh, this will be a two hour long video and you'll just get absolutely bored so i picked roughly about 10 which includes some of the most commonly asked questions so hopefully those will be useful as i said i'm going to be doing these quite regularly now so if you do have any other questions you can drop them in the comment section below now before i start the video just to let you know um i do have a bit of a flu so you know uh, apologies if my voice isn't up to scratch and if i don't have the energy shall we say that I usually do on a camera so apologies for that from the start there so uh, let's get straight to it now this is probably one of uh, the most asked questions that I get on the channel but uh, Anas Maestro has asked what is your daily smartphone and congrats on hitting 100k subscribers so firstly thank you for that and in terms of my daily driver now as I mentioned this is something that most people ask on uh, YouTube a lot of the comments on there what's your daily driver it's something that I probably get asked every day now the simple answer to that is my daily driver is the smartphone that I'm reviewing I am a tech reviewer so I'm changing smartphones quite a bit and uh, I don't usually hang on to a device for too long so at this point in time I'm switching between the Samsung Galaxy S5 the iPhone 6 plus and the iPhone 6 so you know I want to be taking lots of different images from these and really test them out so I'm switching between these hopefully it will be the note 4 from next week now moving on to the next question now this is again something that's asked quite commonly and it was asked by a lot of you as well on all of those posts which is uh, is YouTube your primary job or do you work elsewhere as well and you know if so what is your primary job so uh, no YouTube is not my primary job this is something that I do part-time my full-time job is uh, at a university I'm not a lecturer or anything by the way uh, I actually work in the marketing department of a university and I am a multimedia designer so I do photography video web design motion graphics things like that so uh, I do this on a corporate level and uh, the YouTube thing is uh, definitely something that's uh, on the side right now it's part-time I really enjoy what I do my full-time job so I do intend to continue doing that so it's a lot of fun and I get to do a lot of different things I post a lot of my work on uh, Facebook Twitter Instagram and Google Plus as well some of the videos and things that I do on there so you know if you do follow me on there you probably see a few of those updates okay so let's move on to the next one I absolutely love touch ID by the way um, you just saw right there instead of having to unlock the device just put my thumb on there touch ID thumbs up love it but anyway moving on to the next question which is from Mohammed Patel which one of your videos are you most proud of and why not very very good question um, there's quite a few that I am really really proud of and I'm really happy with the way they turned out but if I was to pick one it'd probably be the Samsung Galaxy S4 versus the iPhone 5s video that I did now this was one of the first videos where I really used a bit of a cinematic style so I spent a lot of time getting some real close-ups and, and really getting some of those shots so uh, I was really really pleased with the way it turned out and it was received very very well uh, too so that was absolutely great and it sort of set the benchmark for my future hands-on videos that I did so they're all in that kind of cinematic style and I hope you all enjoy them as well so it would have to be that one that sort of uh, goes above the rest but there's quite a few I mean if I was to name a few of them uh, from a different sort of uh, types of videos they would be quite a few now uh, moving on to the next question which is from and the batteries run out absolutely great bear with me a second let me go and get that for the light anyway anyway so <coughs> let's get back to the question so that was from Anurag Mohan where are you from I am from Leicester which is in the UK quite a simple one there uh, moving on to the next question, Amina K Khan, aka Pearl Daisy, asked a few questions. How much time do you dedicate to your YouTube channel on social media? Well, um, the thing is, because I review tech, uh, this is uh, quite seasonal tech. Some some months you'll have lots of devices, like we've had in September and October. So those months I'll be dedicating a lot more time. I'll take a few days off work when there's a launch of a device, and as you'll see, I've been posting lots of videos about the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. So I took a few days off work, and I was just working on that solid. But generally speaking on a normal time I usually allow about an hour for social media in the evenings so when I'm back from work and I've got a bit of time then I'll uh, send the computer go over some social media
media posts, uh, post a few things, answer a few comments and things. So that's what I usually do. I'm not really great with time management. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll spend a whole weekend, probably not sleep. So you'll see a lot of videos that are being put up really, really late, which is definitely not good. And I wouldn't recommend you do that. But uh, sometimes uh, you get quite passionate and just kind of get carried away. And that's what usually happens. But it is very seasonal. So some months I'll be spending a lot more time than others. Uh, she's also asked your top favorite TV shows of all time. Now, uh, I don't watch TV anymore. I didn't mention that my TV is YouTube. But before when I used to watch TV, then it used to be Friends, uh, Scrubs, definitely. Third one's quite difficult. I used to really love or lost, but uh, I didn't like the ending. I didn't like the way they ended it. I'm sure a lot of you didn't. Who, who watched Lost? Anybody watch Lost? Drop me a comment below and let me know. Uh, probably Lost, I'd say, because I did enjoy watching the series. I uh, just didn't like the ending. And uh, the final thing that she's asked is how to take a perfect bead selfie. I'm not, I'm not going to answer that one. <laughs> now, moving on to the next question. Hamza Studios has asked, what's your PC specs and what is she called? Now, I'm going to answer this one because you said, what is she called? So, you know that I've named my PC. So, uh, props to you for that one because I do name my things. You might think it's sad, but I do. My PC's name is Sasha. And uh, the specs, uh, I've got uh, an i7 processor. It's a 3770, uh, 3.4 uh, 4 gigahertz, I think it is. 16 gig of RAM. I've got a 2 gigabyte uh, Raiden uh, graphics card on there. And the most important thing, and this is something I definitely recommend, if you've got a PC and you want it to run really fast for video editing and things, a solid state hard drive. So I've got a solid state hard drive, 256 solid state hard drive, and then I've also got a three terabyte normal hard drive. So that's a, a standard hard disk drive that I've got on there. And what I do is all my software and applications are on the SSD. So uh, it runs really, really fast and smooth. You've got 10 second boot up time on Windows 8, hopefully getting Windows 10 soon as well. And it works absolutely great. So this is something that I definitely recommend. And I've had this, I have had it for almost uh, coming towards uh, one and a half, two years now. So maybe getting an upgrade soon, but it is working quite well for me in terms of the video editing that I do. Now moving on to the next question, which is from John Love uh, of Clove Technology. Great guy. Um, if you could save one electronic and one non electronic uh, uh, let me start that again. So if you could save one electronic and one non-electronic item from your house. Okay, one more time, one last time. See, this is this is the, um, well, all the medicine that's sort of drugging me up. But anyway, if you could save one electronic and one non-electronic item from a house fire, what would they be and why? Um, so electronic is easy, it would have to be Sasha because uh, I've got all of my work on there and a lot of uh, um, all of my projects on there and things. So that would be the electronic item that I would save. I mean, like with a camera and uh, phones and things, you can always get new ones. But in terms of that data that you've got on there, um, it's massive with all the video files and things. So that's uh, the electronic item. The non-electronic item, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I mean, um, not sure if I have anything that's really valuable that's non-electronic. Obviously, I'm a geek and I'm a techie, so most of the things that I own are, are electronic in some way or another. Um, it will be the YouTube silver play button when I get it. So when you pass 100,000 subscribers, you get uh, a YouTube silver play button. So when I do get that, it will be that. But for this time, I mean, it's probably one of my Superman t-shirts. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Uh, Ashik Bal... Okay, I sorry. I'm really bad at names. Ashik... Hello dear, how did you start funding your YouTube channel initially since all this technology is expensive? Yes, technology is expensive. Now, what I did initially is um, I used to just review things that I had bought myself. So for example, my smartphone and things, everybody buys their own smartphone. So what I do is that what, something I bought myself, I would do a review on it. So that's how I initially started off. And the other way that I really did it was um, by uh, borrowing things from family and, uh, family and friends. I mean, the Nexus 7 was one of the first hands-on reviews that I did. Uh, that was actually my brother's. So Riz, love you, man. Thanks for that. Um, he actually uh, got the Nexus 7 and he was like, why don't you do a review of this? Because I, I sort of uh, advised him to, to get that tablet and he was like, why don't you do a review of it? So he let me borrow it for about a week. So, um, you know, I did the whole unboxing. And I did uh, the review on uh, that one. I did really, really well. And that's where I sort of started off. And yeah, I mean, that's what I advise as well. You don't have to be you know really rich or anything 
to uh, review tech if that's what you want to do i mean if you want to do something else that's totally up to you but if you do want to review tech then the best thing is if you've got family and friends who are, are buying things i mean i'm sure there's going to be lots of your family members who are going to be upgrading upgrading their phones and buying new phones and things and if they're nice enough to let you borrow one of their devices for a bit that's a really really good way uh, to get yourself started so uh, those were some of the questions that i've picked out on there hopefully the questions that you were after have been answered in this video now as i mentioned i am going to be doing this a lot more regularly so roughly about two uh, two four weeks so if you've got any questions then drop them in the comments section below and uh, if there's any particular questions that you see in the comments uh, then do give them a thumbs up if those are the ones that you want answered as well so then that way they'll put them to the top and it'll be easy for me to see that which questions most of you want answered Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, as always, please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. Once again, apologies for not having the energy uh, that I usually have on the videos uh, because of this uh, flu so apologies for that once again if you haven't already be sure to subscribe I've got plenty more videos coming up on the channel thanks for watching this is Saf on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time if you want to see more regular videos like this one then be sure to hit the subscribe button which will be below if you're on a mobile device it may be somewhere else if you want to see my previous related video then hit the link right here if you want to stay in touch over Facebook Twitter and Google Plus then all of the addresses will be there somewhere as as well as direct links in the description below. Okay, if you're still watching then that means you've not done one of those things, so no. Yeah. Anyway, um I'm just I'm just gonna go um downstairs. See. Okay, um there isn't really a downstairs. Anyway, so yeah.